Okay, everyone. Lance Goyke here with Jay Chun. Um, Jay, you gave a really great presentation back in the fall at the Physical Pre Preparation Physical Preparation Summit. That's what Mike's calling it now. He changed the name this year, so it's confusing me. Um, and and you gave this talk about how to flirt with your clients, or at least yeah. that's what it was called. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you kind of explain that to us? Yeah. So the title was something that I picked out to make people laugh, and you know, I talk about how it's flirting with your clients, like. You know, you're just teasing them, you're bantering with them, you're making them feel comfortable, not like I'm flirting with you, like trying to get in your pants, right? So the whole point of that was to talk about how these people skills are just as important as um, the, the technical skills that we teach to our interns and that we pride ourselves on at IFAST. Yeah. And so this presentation is really an extension of that, about how to use those skills to build a big community at your gym. And I think that when you are able to do that, then you're going to be more successful in terms of you're going to get more clients. You're going to get them to stick around longer. You're going to make more money because you have more clients. And in the end, I think you're going to get better results from your clients. Um, if you get them to buy into this community, that that's what they want to belong to and that's what they want to stick around for. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense. Like we, we I mean, we like the science part of it. So right. We put a lot of emphasis on that, but I, I think that's somewhere that I'm really glad that you focus on it mm -hmm. because we need that. Right. And so, you know, it's very easy, I think, for us to get caught up in anatomy or physiology or PRI or biomechanics or all the stuff that I think makes IFAST um, known for its, like it's, it has a reputation for yeah. being good at a lot of those things. Um, but, you know, I, a lot of times when our interns come in and, I, and they're new coaches and they haven't coached before and they're trying really hard to learn all this stuff and they're reading books and watching presentations and taking notes and um, they sometimes miss out on the personal side and I would have to argue you probably agree that the I, personal side I know is way same. harder yeah. <laughs> to teach them, right? Because a lot of the times they're like 20 years old, 19 years old, and um, you know they have varying levels of social graces. Yeah. And to teach them how to become more socially graceful and to talk, make small talk, or or have deep conversations or connect with people is really tough. Yeah, I mean, even you know whether it's setting aside like. Your fear of being wrong. Yeah, exactly. Like exactly. Some of our recent, yeah, you yeah. know, or or just an overconfidence bias that they they're not even aware of. Either way, yeah. you know, D yeah. Dunning Kruger effect. Yeah, as exactly. I heard you say recently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Poor change. Yeah. And in a coaching context, it's how can I figure out what makes this client tick? Why do they want to become a better athlete? Why do they want to lose ten pounds? Because in my experience, I'm sure you know this, like people come in and they're like, I want to lose 10 pounds. And then you're like, why do you want to lose 10 pounds? And they're like, because I think I should. You know, and those people never lose never, 10 pounds. Never. Never, never, <laughs> right? But if you have someone who's like, I want to lose 10 pounds or 40 pounds or whatever. And you're like, why do you want to do that? And maybe they don't even know, yeah. right? And you talk with yeah. them. Well, because, you know, I want to be healthier. Why do you want to be healthier? And you do this kind of game of drawing out their, their hidden motivations. And you find out, well, I want to be healthier because I'm 55 years old and my father died of a heart attack at 55 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay, that person yeah. is going to lose 40 pounds. Yeah. 